Skrulls are the bad guys. And you're a Kree, a race of noble warriors. Heroes, noble warrior heroes. What is up guys, Kid Critic is back with another review, and this review is on the latest film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Captain Marvel, and it's directed by Anna Bowden and Ryan Fleck, and it stars Brie Larson, and it's about... Captain Marvel, who is an extraterrestrial Kree warrior who finds herself caught in the middle of an intergalactic battle between her people and the Skrulls. Living on Earth in 1995, she keeps having reoccurring memories of another life as U.S. Air Force pilot Carol Danvers. With help from Nick Fury, Captain Marvel tries to uncover the secrets of her past while harnessing her special superpowers to end the war with the evil scrolls. So heading into this film, I didn't have like the biggest anticipation for this movie, but I was still I still wanted to see it. I didn't have the biggest anticipation for it, mainly because the trailers didn't really hit well for me. I just thought they were okay at best. And coming out of this film, I, I actually really enjoyed this movie. And I thought, to start things off, I thought one of the best parts of this movie is the relationship between Captain Marvel and Nick Fury. I thought their back and forth was just on point, and they had great comedic timing. Their back and forth, it was just great. Their chemistry was just beautiful. It was like that buddy cop part of the movie that I just absolutely really enjoyed. Now, all the reactions and all the reviews, everyone was like, Ben Mendelsohn is great in this movie. And throughout the first half of the film, I was like, yeah, Ben Mendelsohn is good, but I mean, he's not like amazing. And then a specific moment happens in the movie, and I was like, this is what people were talking about, because I love Ben Mendelsohn in this movie. And what they did with this character I thought of Talos, I thought was absolutely brilliant. And what they did with the scrolls in general, I absolutely loved. And I can't give away what they did, because that's a spoiler. Now, Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. Did I dislike her as Captain Marvel, or did I like her as Captain Marvel? And I have to admit, I actually really enjoyed her as Captain Marvel. I thought she really pulled off the sass of Captain Marvel. I thought it was the best part about it. I thought a little bit in the beginning, I, I thought some of the lot. I don't know if it was her performance or the lines she was given. It just kind of, it, it felt off. And I was, it, it just didn't flow right. But I just, I, I really enjoyed her performance in the movie. And I can't, I, I, I think the character of Captain Marvel will play very well with the Avengers, especially with her sass. And I cannot wait to see that in Endgame because obviously she's going to be in it. That's, sorry, if you guys think that's a spoiler, but obviously she's going to be in Endgame if you saw the end credit scene of Avengers Infinity War. And speaking of Infinity War and Endgame and the whole entire MCU, I thought this film fit very nicely into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It actually connects some of the dots from the... And like entire storyline of the past three phases which was pretty cool. I also thought the action scenes were really fun too and it's where you get to see Captain Marvel's powers obviously show off and I mean dude Th Th Thanos has got to hit the gym and like pump in some iron because he he, he has a big threat on his hands because Ca Ca Captain Marvel's no joke because she 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 is definitely one of the most powerful Avenger out of all of them and obviously we also have like Thor and Hulk who are also very powerful, but I think Captain Marvel She, she Thanos is Thanos has got his hands tied a little bit because I think Ca Captain Marvel She's here to play goose the cat by the way who you've seen in the trailers. I thought he was fantastic in the movie uh, I mean that, that cat's performance is that is an Oscar winning performance for that cat uh, 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 Goose the Cat was just wonderful. Now with the cons of this film, um, I mean, I, I, Jude Law, who I love Jude Law, and I thought he was good in this movie. I just wish they did w more with his character. And I, and then you also see that Coulson and Ronin is also in this movie, and you didn't need them in this film. They were just wasted. They were just there to be like, oh, look, it's Ronin. Oh, look, it's Coulson. And I mean, yeah, you, didn't, you, you just didn't need them. And then I did. I thought some of the writing was like a bit on the nose, and it just felt just a little too cheesy. But that, I didn't think that was for the whole movie. I just thought there was like particular scenes where it just didn't work for me. 
There are also some little nitpicks I had with the story, but I'm not going to get into them because there's spoilers and I'm not going to spoil them. I can't spoil the movie. That's just not cool. So overall, I really enjoyed Captain Marvel. I had some great moments. And the de-aging in this movie, I mean, do you really need to de-age Samuel Jackson? I mean, the, the man looks like he's 45 already. Absolutely nuts. But the de-aging in this movie I thought was spot on. You definitely don't notice a thing. And I really enjoyed this movie. I definitely recommend it. And with that said, guys, look out for the next video or review. And peace.